بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہیلو ویورز ویلکم ونس اگین ٹو مائی چینل فور دوز آف یو دیٹ آر نیو ٹو مائی چینل یو آر موسٹ ویلکم دوز آف یو دیٹ ہیو آلریڈی سبسکرائب یو آر آلسو آف کورس موسٹ ویلکم اف یو آر نیو دین پلیز ڈونٹ فرگیٹ ٹو ہٹ دیٹ بیل آئی کون سو دیٹ یو گیٹ نوٹیفیکیشن آف اینی ویڈیوز دیٹ آئی پروڈیوس Today we're doing a PowerPoint presentation on the use of dash, the dash in English. Okay, so let's get into it straight away. So the dash is used to show an abrupt stop or a change of thought in the sentence. So if you look at the example, if only I had not done this, dash but why cry over spilt milk so can you see there's an abrupt change we're talking about something that we did and then we're regretting that so uh, it is an uh, abrupt change so for those of you that are not familiar with uh, why cry over spilt milk it means this happened there's nothing you can do about it really so the milk is spilt you can't be putting it back into the container. So that's the uh, first area. Second leads to mark off what we call parenthesis, which is extra information or words that are used in uh, by way of explanation and uh, exclamatory, exclamatory or what we call emphatic, which is sort of dramatic really, or to, for, for effect so if you notice at the end of the sentence there's also an exclamation mark which of course is used for surprise or um, change of emphasis so in our example there will come a time a blessed time when we will be free all right so i'm not uh, very good at dramatics but can you see uh, that the blessed time is an explanation and then when we will be free it really is emphatic and uh, exclamatory as I say okay and the third uh, place where it could be used is what we call to resume a scattered subject so if you look at uh, the sentence in the example rich and poor high and low, old and young, all, sorry, dash, all fought bravely. So where the dash is, after that it sort of uh, brings it uh, back together then, uh, or what we call a resumption of the subject, which is the poor and uh, the rich people. The final thing that I can say on the subject is that you could actually use uh, brackets as parenthesis as well sometimes it's better not to but here is an example of uh, brackets and they merely give more information about the car so my dad's car open brackets a Nissan Sunny is very old okay so I hope you found that useful so we, that was uh, one of the uh, shortest uh, videos that I've made so far, but as always, I have some exam uh, tasks for you guys uh, to try out, so there are five to do here. So I'm going to leave this up for five seconds so that you get a chance to um, freeze the screen and then I will reveal the answers and... Uh, explain where the um, dash or the bracket goes okay viewers I'm about to reveal the the answers okay so if we look at the first one losing your shoes brackets even old shoes is foolish okay so that um, gives us more information about the shoes 
then second one those dogs the ones over there smell of petrol so we are told more detail uh, about the dogs by way of parenthesis in the brackets so next one it was a very hot dash baking in fact so I put on my sunglasses so starts off with being a hot day and then we're given more information and then we are uh, brought back to the subject which is the hot weather number four my cat has had a, a litter of kittens five in dash five in total dash and they are all ginger okay so again it's used to uh, give uh, more information and then we are back to the subject of cats because they are all ginger and the final one the island is beautiful dash stunning actually dash and there is a lot of wildlife so once again uh, we separate it with dashes giving information about the beautiful island which is stunning and it also contains wildlife okay viewers that's the end of uh, today's presentation it just remains for me to say thank you for watching and as always the please please like share and subscribe to my channel particularly the subscribe I really can't succeed without uh, you guys helping me so please help in whatever way that you can okay so until the uh, next time I will say look after yourselves look after others apna khayal rakhna dusron ka khayal rakhna duaon mein yaad rakhna allah hafiz